Good afternoon. Welcome to Saturday, September 16th, which I figured would be just sort of a boring day when I got home. Uh, probably, I, I uploaded a vlog this morning to make up for the fact that I didn't go and put up last night. I figured I'd edit and do some of that night. I still probably will. But I got home and discovered that that guy is here. And so that always makes my day infinitely more interesting uh, when my nephew comes over. And so we're going to take on the Forbidden Island once more since uh, it defeated us last time. We'll see how we do. I got the game all set up here. Just, uh, just have to wait on uh, players. My mom and nephew will be here. She's still cleaning things up. He hasn't stepped away from his computer. Uh, and so I draw, start by drawing a card? No. You start by doing three actions. Move, yeah, shore do. up, give treasure card, or capture a treasure. You can't capture a treasure because uh, you Cause don't you have... you got to have four cards. Yes. All right. So you can move and you so can shore up. I can move and I can You can't shore, shore up where you're at right now. You have to move. Because like, nobody needs shoring. Because, yeah, you're not adjacent to a tile that needs to be shored. All right, but I can shore up these two. Yeah, sure. And do I move? No, you have to, to move. You have to. You have to move to them. So no, mm -mm, that's no, you can't move diagonally. Okay. This game like two weeks ago, man. <laughs> so you can move no, one, two, really? and then you can use your other action since you're the engineer to shore up both. It wasn't two weeks ago. It was like six weeks ago, and we've played two games since then. And you can that calculate that by checking the vlog. Complicated. Yeah, this isn't complicated. Yeah, this is easy. And then you draw two treasure deck cards. And you did not make things worse for us, thank you. Sure, that's any one tile on the island. Play at any time does not count as an action. Discard to treasure. Discard pile after use. Yep. And so this is going to come in handy when something's ready to go down. Is yes. Is that correct? That is correct. And then draw flood cards equal to the water level, which is two. So Cave of Embers. These are all going down. And the Twilight Hollow are both sinking. Good job, Mom. You just caused the Twilight Hog Hollow to start to flood. <laughs> My turn. Uh, let's see. Shore up, shore up, move. How come you got to shore up before you moved? He just, I could. He just shore because up. I was next to them. Here, I'll break it down. He was here, right? So he shored up that one. And rather than moving his guy and then shoring up that one, he shored them both up at the same time. Because I can go diagonally. Oh, because you, you do have special privileges. It's you have, like spe you have special privileges. You got privileges. to shore up two for one oh, action. Shore up them diagonally. Okay. Yeah. I thought you went like one. Technically, two, I could have just shored up, moved, shore up if I didn't have yeah, it. But I wanted to get both of the caves because they're relevant. So they seemed like did. the important no, no, no. ones. I was wrong. Uh, and I get two treasures. Nothing sinking yet. And then what's starting to flood? The Lost Lagoon. These are always going to be sinking in this deck. Is that it? That is correct. That is. That is what that deck is deck. for. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Isn't this the Hogwarts Garden? No, this is the Howling Garden right here. Oh. Twilight Hollow. We haven't had to shuffle this back in, so nothing in here is already thing. Nothing is going away until we get uh, Water's Rise. And, Ethan, it is your turn. Oops. And he can fly in anywhere. Yeah, you can go any one spot. You can... He can get treasures and he can shore up. We just don't want anything to sink. Why don't I? I'm just gonna loop right here, flip that, and then move back. There we go. I wouldn't say that's the best use of his turn. Well, but, I didn't see anything else know. to do. That would've been useful. At the very least, yeah, you get some good cards. And what's you starting to flood? And what's the other the one Temple of the have? Moon. Helicopter's good to have. I had that the last time. In and the Silver Gate. Hey, I'm standing there. So what happens then? It starts to... You need to be rescued. Sink. No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> and we continue on with this. Just making waters rise. He's always making waters rise. 
Oh. You know what? If you did not just show up Cave of Shadows, we would have lost it and we would have lost. So, Thanks. good job. Because <laughs> okay. it's go. going under. So, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. It's these two, so. Uh, Aren't there like away. a few Water's Rise cards at the top? Okay, Cave of Shadows. Uh, they are much closer now because we have a bunch of the cards out. Doesn't that mean Silver Gate. we should they, reshore that up? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, she first needs to get her thing. She can now do that. She can now... You can get the goblet. Alright, so I have to do what? You spend an action and you... Just that, yeah. spend an action, and it's done. There you go. So you have the goblet. Right. Now you have two actions left, and yes, shoring up Cave of Shadows would be wise. So <laughs> yeah. all I have to do go. is move to Iron Gate, and yeah, I can right shore here, them both uh, up. Okay. That's doable, right? Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead. Good. Good job. And okay, we did have an extra turn to wait, but still. Better that way than not. Yeah, better safe than sorry. We can get the fire one too. We should be good. Temple of the Moon is gone. Howling Garden is gone, so we need Whispering Garden now. Lost Lagoon is gone. We just lost three parts of the island in one turn. And we can do this. Okay, I'm gonna give me the Great, let's see, it's a sandbag. Fool's landing. Okay. So now, I have room for another griffin. Give me the griffin. I need to unload the shotgun. That's one. You did not? Two. I did. did. Shore up. Okay. These two? Yep. Right I can get you guys off that. I have your stuff. That's all right. I don't plan on using so can I. anyway. Alright, so pretty much at this point, I'm thinking we won. You get these two cards, okay. which nothing bad happened there. Right. So. Uh, I don't think we can get further, so, okay. Golden Gate. At the end. Cliffs of Abandon. Breaker's Bridge. And we need one more. So we shuffle this. But of the two tiles we need right now, by the way, I had you not use your third action because it makes more sense not to. Because you can't walk back there, but I can fly both of us back there. So it made more sense to not do Yeah, it you want to stay on the same spot as me. And then Cliffs of Abandon are gone, which also means we have to fly back because if you'd have started walking, that would have put your path gone. Uh, and now it's my turn. So on my turn, I have the four griffins and we are at that spot. So I take the griffin. And I know it's, it's a winged lion, but I feel like it's a griffin. Uh, is that what a griffin is? No, it would have like a beak of an eagle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I use my helicopter with, and we come to Fool's Landing, where he already is. He has a, and we won. <laughs> it's amazing that my sister isn't here. We can do great things. <laughs> oh, but she's precious. Just doesn't do great things. Precious, yeah. but not uh, not great at exactly. doing things. Yeah. Thank you for uh, stepping away from your, your computer for a little bit. It is hard. Yes. <laughs> I managed. We appreciate it. Adam has been there. That game is much easier when Fool's Landing ends up near like the bottom of the, the deck of things to sink. And you don't have to constantly be worrying about it. it made it much simpler. <laughs> but uh, hey, we won this time. So they decided we're doing... Uh, they decided to get a Pizza Hut for dinner. And they're all too busy, so it falls on me to go pick it up, but mom's paying for it, so that's good at least. But uh, otherwise, I've been spending the last few hours uh, editing uh, a few vlogs. I'm trying to catch up on that. Coming with me? I am. Yeah. Totally voluntarily, right? Oh, that's nice. He, he, he says it is voluntary. Not at all, because my mom said he had to. Oh, they turned the lights on for us. Here at Pizza Hut. Very nice. Just got Pizza Hut, and like my nephew pointed out, it is technically back there in a Papa John's bag. Because I had a buddy that uh, worked somewhere that uh, his business ordered like a big order, and they were like, hey, can you leave uh, the bags and come collect them later? so that they could keep it hot until like the meeting where they were gonna have it. And they'd order a big enough order that they were like, yeah, sure, whatever. And then they gave him like two months telling him, hey, we have these bags, 
when someone's in the area, come collect them. I'm like, yeah, sure, but no one ever did. So my buddy just took them home and I got one of them. So I have a bag that I keep in my trunk if ever I need to keep pizza hot. And that's where it came from. Okay. Ethan wanted uh, breadsticks. We got a uh, half cheese, half basically Hawaiian pizza for my mom and I'm sure I'll have part of that. And then a pepperoni, extra pepperoni stuffed crust for pretty much all of the rest of us. All right, got a couple pieces of uh, pizza. It's been far too long since I've had a pizza worth eating backwards. I love stuffed crust. I mean, really, I used to work there. It was, uh, it's string cheese. They wrap string cheese up in the crust, but it tastes good. And pizza was good, of course. And now for dessert, I have a few uh, little mini candy cookies that uh, we got a box of at Sam's yesterday. Um, so we're going to have those. But I did get a video that just uh, finished uploading to YouTube. So I've got another vlog put up, two today, since I missed one yesterday. So that's good not to, not to fall further behind by doing that. And uh, otherwise, I'm just getting ready to go to bed. I am so tired. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.